Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King and today I am back with another review. And today we will be taking a look at the Collector 2016 Phylocene. Now, the Phylocene, which they means dog-headed pouched one, was a genus of carnivorous marsupial, the largest to live in modern times, that lived from around the early Pliocene to actually quite recently here in Australia and Tasmania. Now, very, very sadly, this is actually one of the few creatures that has actually died um, hunted to extinction because of humans. Uh, the last animal captured in the wild was around in 1933, which then died in captivity in 1936. So, it, it's very sad that this beautiful creature killed by us because, well, well, they they were mainly preying on sheep and um, chickens. Well, they, people believe they were. It was probably by packs of wild dogs, but they were blamed for a lot of things and fortunately they were hunted to extinction. But luckily, there are a lot of pelts, uh, bones, and actually video footage of these animals still survive. So we have a pretty good idea of what these creatures actually looked like. It was around 1.6 meters long and about 22 to 30 kilograms in weight. And now, this model is quite small. I would say probably around, I don't know, Scutosaurus by Safari small. But I have to say, it is absolutely fantastic how much detail. So we had a look at that, look at that head sculpt. The mouth agape, we've got the eyes there, face forward, and just the inside of the mouth. Look at those teeth in there, just been individually done. And this looks like an actual animal. The fur detail. There's the iconic stripes down the back. And if you had a have a look at the back, this is actually is a female. So you can see there's the pouch, and there is the baby. There are the paws. Claws on the end. And of course there's the long tail. But I mean just look at this is, has to be one of Collector's best mammals that they've done. And in my opinion, anyway, I mean, it's just fantastic how much detail has gone into this really quite small figure. And, oh, a bit of fluff on the end of his ear. I mean, just look at the detail. The level of detail on here is incredible. There is a little bit of a paint mishap on the eye up there. A little bit. I mean, just looking into those eyes, you must you would be mistaken for it for an actual animal. I mean, just this model is absolutely incredible. The level of detail and work that had to go into making this little guy is just incredible. Definitely one of their most lifelike models that I have encountered. Just absolutely fantastic. And it's sad to think that humans in modern times hunted this animal to extinction. However, there are some reports that the thylacine may actually still exist in very, very remote places in Australia and Tasmania, as there have been photos, video evidence as well, to suggest that maybe these animals do still survive. It's unknown at the moment. I know there are many organisations out there actually looking for this animal to see if it actually does still exist. It would be cool if it did, but for the moment it remains extinct. But still, it's a fantastic representation of this animal. Definitely probably the most accurate one I have ever seen. And Collector, please do more prehistoric mammals because they are fantastically done by you. Just incredible, incredible work here. Just for such a little animal. A little model. I mean, look at this to my hand. Just so small. But wonderfully done. Definitely pick this guy up. I mean, he's only three ninety nine on an Everything Dinosaur. Uh, he's, I would highly recommend this guy. So I hope you like this video, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and that good stuff. Uh, my next review will be on the Lythranax, which I know a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing the review of. So I do hope you guys look forward to that. So please take care, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, 
and have a great day. Bye.